hello everybody and welcome in this tutorial i'm going to be showing you the admin panel which helps us to modify our models and interact with our database way faster so without further ado let's get started as you can see here i have my models.py open so we have one model here which is user accounts and we want to register this model so first of all i'm going to do python manage.py run server and when that runs we open it up in the browser and over here after the url i just wanted to do slash admin okay sorry one two yep slash admin and you could see something open up like this you can see we have username and password so where are we going to get this username and password so this is actually the django admin panel which you can use to interact with your database with a ui already created by django and now they're asking us for a username and password we have to create it here and just for the record i just want to say that that slash admin route you're seeing here is over here on the urls of pi that default slash admin is here if you remove this path here you're not going to be, be able to access this page so oh well i think i'm going to get rid of that so to create um that username and password that they're asking us for you go over here to your terminal and do python manage.py and say create super user so this create super user is basically going to create like an admin in django so you just hit enter on that and as you can see we have username for by default it's going to give you the username of your current user on your laptop mine is davis dev so i'm just going to hit enter on that then you can set an email address it's not compulsory so i'm just going to leave that as default then the password is compulsory so i'm just going to put password yeah password yeah they say the password is too common but you can still use it so i'm going to put y to say yes and the super user has been created so if i go back here now first of all i have to run the server oh sorry um you have to run the server and go over here i am i'm going to put davis dev and as the password i'm going to put the password i set in here so i'm going to click login and as you can see we have opened up the django admin panel so you can see a lot of things here <laughs> not quite a lot but this is actually a lot so we have authentication and authorization we have groups and users if we go over to the users we see we have davis dev and this davis dev is an admin or as django will say is a super user over here we have a username and we have a password so this password as you can see it's quite long and yes i'm going to be explaining this later on in a future video so just know that the password is installed as plain text so you won't just see the password their password and yeah we have personal info first name last name if you set over an email um, when you were creating it here you should have an email address in here then we have active yes staff status supervisor status you see we have groups and this just helps you like organize some permissions and all that you can see user permissions you can do a lot of things with these default django users so you can see last login and this is the current time that i log in you see 80353 i guess then date joined that's the day my create my account was created that's actually now so we can go over to groups and i want to show you something so you can add a new group and you can have some permissions in here so i can just say allow the user to be able to delete a group or um a, the user to view groups or i don't know you can just choose anything here to delete another user's account like for example this is a staff or probably like the backend team um you can give them some permissions like this just hit control on your keyboard and select more than one then you're just going to click this button and you should add them there you can save this um okay let's say the name should be let's say team i guess that's the name of the group team so you can go back to the users and davis dev can be in that group so I'm going to remove him from the super user. So a super user can actually access everything, just so you know. So a super user is like a super admin, <laughs> that kind of thing. So if you have something like staff, you should use staff status instead. But super users can create groups and like give assign people to groups and yeah, all that. So you can go over here, you can see that available group and you can just add it in there. So this Davis dev now will be part of that team and he'll be able to assess people's details and delete them and all that stuff hopefully you get the points i'm going to I'm, I'm not going to save this i'm just going to go back to users so i think you've gotten a very general overview right now i'm going to delete this i'm going to click it go over here to action and click delete selected groups or you can click it and go and click go once i click go you say delete the group yes i am sure and it has been deleted so if you go back to users now you should see that there will be no group like that even if davis dev was added to that group so oh well i think you get the whole um, general concept here i just want to show you the admin panel and a lot of things you can do 
so you may be saying yes we have a user account here over in the models but why is it not showing up here yeah that's because we haven't registered so if you go to admin.py okay go to admin.py you can see from django.country import admin so here we're going to first of all import the user account so we can do more from the models import user account and now we have to register it so we can do admin the site the register user account so this just helps um the this model to be tracked by the admin panel so if i run this now you can see we have base because that's the name of the app that is housing this and we have user accounts inside you can create a new user account to give the username a pin and the balance from inside here and just so you know if i assign myself to only be able to view or um to view user accounts and delete them this is the only role that i will see when i log into my admin panel hopefully you get the general overview just try to think hard about it and probably even play around with it so with all that said i think that should be all thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one